so I honestly don't know how to actually start this video. This is a few days after the video that you're just about to watch. I've needed a few days to calm down and get back down to earth because what you're about to watch is the most intense, nerve-wracking, exciting, overwhelming day I've probably ever had in my life, never mind just with mountain bikes. Uh, but all in a good way, of course. And that's because Red Bull invited myself and six other YouTubers down to Dovey Bike Park, Wales, where we got to ride with uh, and alongside the Continental Atherton Racing Team. The whole idea with these videos is to show you guys and girls at home what it's like to be a pro rider. Not so much the actual riding, but more to do with the support that they get from the mechanics, from the coaching, from the food, to the physios. Uh, this is all, it's, ultimately it's down to the riders themselves to be fast, of course, but they need a crew around them to also get the most out of their abilities. And hopefully this video will show you a little bit more about that. Um, I am going to do a voiceover on this video, which is quite unusual for my videos, but I feel it's the only way that we can actually show everything that needs to be shown and explain everything as we go because other than that, like my head was just complete mince in the day and I was not getting my words out, wasn't thinking straight, I was just too busy having fun and being very scared at the same time. So yeah, let's jump into it from the start. So it all started at the Brigands Inn, not too far from Dovey Bike Park, where I was welcomed with some merchandise from the Athertons, some riding gear, some Red Bull and some information cards. Then we headed down to have dinner where we met everyone that would be involved in this awesome day that was to follow. And before I knew it, I was heading through those Dovey Bike Park gates. This is quite clearly a big week for Red Bull and Dovey Bike Park. More going on than just our day. And we just do a super chill cruise run down, just to, you know, check out the track, decide which course we're on. So everything kicked off with a quick rundown of the day's planned activities from G and Rachel. I wasn't sure how involved they would actually be in the day and I was really quite happy to see that they were fully on board and we had their attention for the whole day. <laughs> After that I think we're going to do a cornering workshop with Al Bond. Um, okay, so I have opted to use my DV8 to kind of get started. I'm going to do the first run on a bike I know, and then I've uh, booked a downhill bike. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> Just like Tommy has. Yeah, boy. With the most powerful brakes known I mean, to man. They are, could, they are ridiculous. Could aren't stop they? an elephant. Once you run them, though, it's hard to ride any other bikes. Yeah, that's gonna. This is gonna be an expensive trip. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Oh, this is a luxury one. This one's got padded seats. <laughs> well, well. So apparently we're at about 1,200 feet here, which is uh, higher than I thought we would be. Oh, we've got 1,200 foot descending. <laughs> Off the drop. Straight <laughs> in. <laughs> Jesus, right. <laughs> I need to take it easy. I have no idea. This is so full on. Hold it up. Hold it up. So you've seen that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It looks so cool. You're good, good. Yeah. Just the eagle. Oh dear, oh dear. That wasn't the way I intended in starting this day. And for someone that was quite nervous coming into this, my nervousness increased tenfold. Looking back, I don't really know exactly what went wrong. My front wheel did hit a bit of gravel, but as you can see, the trail's covered in gravel and it wasn't a problem after this, so who knows? Humbled straight away.
Big old berms. Very much embarrassing. So it rained a lot last night, uh, which won't be helping grip levels. Ah, this is a bit more like what I'm used to. A wee bit slower. <laughs> So this trail is known as Super Swooper and despite my little mishap at the beginning of it it's actually a really simple, enjoyable, fun trail with some really well formed berms and some small to medium sized jumps. At this point I was starting to build a little bit of confidence back up but I did notice that my rear shock was rebounding a little bit fast and on the jumps I was getting kicked forward slightly. Get a feel for it all. I'm gonna be here all day. Woo. That's cool. Done with that one. Right. Aye, this is this is this is gonna make me better. <laughs> <laughs> right, that first run was not embarrassing, but um, it, it wasn't good. My main gripe is I've scratched my watch up. I've always had an Apple Watch on my wrist doing all these rides, but that's the first time I've damaged one. Uh, not so good. <laughs> but anyway, now I am on this bike right here. So this is a, an Atherton. AM200. This is a downhill bike. So not only is this my first time on an Atherton bike, it's also my first time on a downhill bike, full stop. So on the way up in the Land Rover, I checked the GoPro footage to see what my crash was all about. And my line wasn't too bad, it just looks like the front tyre washed out. And even G said that uh, my tyre is uh, not appropriate. It's uh, an old Magic Mary, the harder compound, and the side knobs are tearing away. Nothing like this. So hopefully, hopefully this can uh, at least eliminate that out of my riding. So now I've got to learn all over again. I rode this wall ride first time. Oh wow. Right, so now I've got drip, whoa, <laughs> grip, extra bounce, huge amount of braking power. Oh, windy, windy, oh. <laughs> So I haven't really changed the setup on this bike, this is uh, Ben, my mechanic, this is his personal bike and it's Andy's old race bike. Oh, so who am I to change their setup? Ben is only 5 kilos lighter than me so just made a subtle change to the brakes. There we go, I made it round that time, made it! <laughs> just definitely got to go higher. Yeah, just so floaty. Not having to think. Woo. Feeling much more confident this run. Woo. Much more confident. I was uh, a bag of nerves on that climb there. <sighs> but yeah, what I think the main thing with with turning, well, there's a few main things with turning. There's a lot, of, a lot of things go in to make good turning. But I think we could all say in, in most sports, where you look is where you go. So vision is really important. Again, so this is Alex Bond, or Bondy for short, and he is Dovey Bike Park's resident mountain bike coach. Despite us being a large group, I feel that Bondi actually done really well in giving us all some kind of attention. 
and I for one made some good improvements based off his feedback. If the opportunity ever comes up in the future, I would 100% like to have a day's coaching with him because I feel that the gains I could make could be invaluable. Anyway, here's Rachel Atherton and Andreas Kolb showing us exactly how to corner. See, that's interesting. Like, she, she on the left hander, she was tempted <laughs> to drop a pebble. On the right hander, she was oh. more committed to both feet. <laughs> Yo, that's that strength from the legs. See that push into the turn there? Can you see how rigid his upper body was as well? Like, chest and head were barely moving. He was just holding Super himself strong. there. It's a bit like pumping a, a roller. But yeah, it is, but sideways. Yeah. And, and with the twist of the hip, so it's like that. <laughs> Combined with that is what kicks the wheels into oh, the turn. Okay. <laughs> and then it was time for us to have a go. Yeah. Ooh, was all right. Right. Okay, so eyes forward. Wait forward. Turn with the eyes and the hips. Yeah, you can corner, all right. <laughs> yeah, Ralph. Nice Yo, nice speed out there. Yeah. I could feel that in the ground. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's us, uh, well, two runs. First run was terrible on my part. Second run was more nervous, but actually I've got full confidence in that bike now. Um, downhill bikes are fucking awesome. And uh, yeah, cornering technique. I mean, I knew all these things. I knew what uh, Bondi had been telling us but it's always good to just kind of reaffirm it and try it all over again. Now it's lunch and uh, I can't remember all what's happening, but lunch now, then more later. Oh, Meatface pasta. Oh, I want that. That's what I want. Black coffee? Hiya. Hi. Uh, can I have one of those meatface pastas, please? Yeah. That looks like I was doing that. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Need <laughs> pressure. Ali's just got a hold off the downhill bike I was using, and somehow doing trials on it. <laughs> what? How? <laughs> I tell you what, this chain device you got on here. Oh yeah, yeah, it's got the old chain on it. Yeah. There's like even fewer engagement points. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. It won't be helping. Ridiculous. Right, guys, from this morning, set up. I mean, we've talked about it a little bit. I think the main thing that you probably start to notice, especially on tracks like this, is how key that suspension setup is. That. So, next on the agenda was bike setup with G and Ben the mechanic. Now, this wasn't really an issue for me because I was using Ben the mechanic's bike and largely we were a very similar size and build, so I kept everything as he had it, and I couldn't be happier. However, as I did mention earlier in the video, I did notice that the rebound was still a little bit fast on my own bike, which I will be changing when I get home. Some, sometimes I'd speak to you guys this morning and ask you, you know, how it was feeling, and you couldn't say why, but you felt like the bike wasn't right, or you felt like it wasn't quite what, you know, doing as it should. What we need to look at, Firstly, is slowing it down and looking at how we drive our energy into the takeoff. And all we need for that is just just halfway jumping onto the top. Um, so yeah, what I want us to look at is obviously we need a good position coming in because if we're all down here and stuck, you can't put any energy into the jump. You need to be in a good position to be able to apply that force. So now it's time for some jumps, something that we don't have much of in Scotland, and as a result, I'm not that good at them. I can do them, some of them are quite good, some of them not so, and the bigger the jump is, the more I fall apart. So I definitely needed some kind of advice. It's more about compression and heels, 
so it's like I compress, I pump. As I'm going up to take off, I, I sort of apply the pressure through the heels, which gives you the up. So the first thing we were to practice was not to jump to full jump, but jump halfway and just make sure that we tried to get as much pop off the takeoff as possible. <laughs> Something good. that I failed miserably on on this first attempt. On this jump, Bondi actually spotted something that I was doing wrong, and that was putting too much emphasis on my leading foot and not enough on my trailing foot. foot he told me to change it and make sure I weighted my trailing foot on this next run. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You weighted your trailing foot perfectly there. <laughs> mate, I could feel that different oh, straight mate, away. Your jump then was so much better. Yeah, yeah. So much better. I try not to think too much about the foot, but uh, it definitely... Oh, I could, I could, I could, I could, I've watched so many thousands of people. Yeah. For so many hours of jumping now, my eyes are like, like focused on little areas that I know are weaknesses. Yeah. But I can see energy in bike, and that's what I saw that time, that I didn't see the other time. So I think that was kind of the epitome of what this day was about. Bondi gave me some advice there that I wouldn't normally get to receive that made a huge difference to my riding immediately. And throughout the day there was loads of different bits and pieces from different individuals that just made that little bit extra help. And remember this is just over one day and it's already having an effect. So now we're continuing down 50 hits, which as the title would suggest has many, many jumps, and this gave me ample opportunity to try and practice what we had just learned. Now, I'm not going to say this was perfect, but it was a damn sight better than my previous attempt. Right, oh, too much in the trailing foot. Woo. Get the speed up here. This is going better. I wouldn't say good, but definitely better. So by this point I was definitely noticing the difference between the downhill bike and my usual trail bike. On the takeoffs, the energy was not transferred quite as well due to the extra suspension. However, I felt far more confident to just go for the jumps anyway, knowing that if I came up a bit short, I had that extra suspension just to deal with oh, no. any problems that may arise. <laughs> so I suppose the confidence was actually the predominant thing here, and just let me carry on and just go for it. Oh. Yelling now. Whoa! <laughs> you all good? Yeah, yeah. So fucking awkward. Narrow bit that. <laughs> Not doing that. Too much for me. <laughs> and this is about where my confidence started to run out. The jumps got too big for me and I had to throw in the towel. Never mind, we've got another run of Super Swooper to finish off the day. Right. Not final run. <laughs> Not just, just wink wink. Doing super swooper. Where it all started, but hopefully can transfer 
bit of our guidance and knowledge over into it. Learning about head positions, turning with the hips, weighting the trailing, ah, don't drop this, trailing foot, all the good stuff. It's taken me a long time, but I feel I've woken up now. That got pinned. Outside. Woo! Oh. Just when you feel semi fast. Boys are gone. Whoa, insides. Nice. I've not got an answer for anyone today, but I have improved on myself. And I suppose that's all that matters. These are the corners we practiced earlier Ooh, dark jeez guys are gone let's be coming on there now that the pace is up I'm uh, less feathered on the brakes. Woo! Feeling the power. That was Ali, tired <laughs> and dropping me for dead. Woo! These, by these guys are gone. Yeah! Oh, that back brake is so powerful. I'm okay with being dropped by these guys. I cannot believe the speed that you can get away with here. Ridiculous. <laughs> oh dear, not the way I wanted to end the day. But never mind, I knew that I was not the fastest guy there, not by a long shot. The other guys were riding so, so well. And if you take that out of the equation, I'm actually really happy with the progress that I made. And I suppose that's kind of what this day was all about. Not hoping here. <laughs> so yeah, that was ridiculous. What a day. <laughs> Wild. So the surprise of the day for me was definitely meeting up with Dan and Roberts from Action Sports Solutions. I'm not overly fit, I'm not overly athletic, and I didn't honestly think there would be much to benefit from these lessons. However, after some silly looking walks and lunges, I did really feel some benefits. The main benefit for me though came when I spoke to Darren afterwards about my vertigo. For almost two decades I've had dislodged crystals in my ears which causes an immense amount of problems in my life. 
Within five minutes, Darren gave me far better information than I've ever had from anyone working in the NHS. I honestly feel like this could be completely life changing for me in the best way possible and it just shows that that's another benefit of having access to all these amazing people on this awesome day. So I hope you enjoyed that video, I hope it was insightful in some way and gave you a rough idea what it's like to be a pro racer for the day, although probably not following my video, but uh, at least showing what they have available to them. Um, I had a lot of respect for downhill racers before and I have even more now. To see little snippets of Andreas Cole about front, you probably didn't even see it in the video, but just seeing what he's capable of and probably just cruising and just absolutely wiping the floor with us was incredible. So I will be rooting for the Atherton Racing Team this weekend at Fort William World Cup. It's been a while since we've had it. I will be there in person uh, soaking up the atmosphere, enjoying every moment. If you can't make it to the World Cup, I'll leave a link to Red Bull TV in a pinned comment so you can watch it yourself and uh, hopefully you can get there one day yourself. Yeah, awesome. Can't wait to get back down to Dovey Bike Park either. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Ciao.